Let's talk Tanya for the 20th of Shvat. Today we start chapter 26, an entirely new topic in Tanya, the topic of positive and negative emotions. Before we start this topic, let's back up a little, and let's discuss what Tanya is all about. As, men- as we've mentioned numerous times already, Tanya is based on the Pasuk, on the verse, Kikare ve'elecha hadavar mi'oid beficha uvavavcha lasaysay, which basically translates as, the Torah and the mitzvahs is something we can do. Every single one of us, we have the ability that 24-7, we have the ability to do what is right and stay away from doing that which is wrong in thought, speech, and action. Now, as we all know, that's uh, easier said than done. Uh, we have many internal struggles. We have an animal soul which tries to prevent us from doing that which is right all the time. So Tanya is devoted and dedicated to explaining to us how it's possible, despite all the struggles, and despite the battle, to do the right thing. For that purpose, the Alter Rebbe gave us two strategies. The long way, the short way, which we finished talking about yesterday. And the question is, okay, we're good. We're good to go. We're done. If the goal of Tanya is teaching us how to overcome the struggles, we've accomplished that. We have two wonderful strategies for that. What's this next conversation all about? And the answer is that the Alter Rebbe tells us, I want you to know, that despite the fact that I gave you two amazing strategies, absent a certain ingredient, those strategies are not going to work. And what is that ingredient? That ingredient is positive emotions. Positive emotions means happiness, excitement, enthusiasm, eagerness, optimism, all the feelings that uplift a person, and those are absolutely essential in the battle against the animal soul. The opposite of that, are negative emotions. What are negative emotions? There's so many negative emotions. Um, pain, suffering, anxiety, um, shame, inauthenticity, guilt, um, loneliness, uh, um, hurt, all of these things. If a person is bogged down by negative emotions, they're going to lose the battle against the, against the animal soul. The example that the Alter Rebbe gives in Tanya is imagine you have two wrestlers. One of them is physically more powerful than the other. Nevertheless, If the one who is more powerful is in a state of laziness and lethargy and bogged down by by negative emotions, and if his opponent, who is weaker, but nevertheless the opponent is excited and optimistic and um, filled with positive emotions, the weaker one is going to win. The strategies that we gave up uh, up until this point teach us that the godly soul is more powerful than the animal soul, and that's true. But if a person is bogged down with negative emotion and isn't filled with positive emotions, we're going to lose the battle anyways. And because the battle against the animal soul is constant, so this becomes so important in life. It is so important to make sure that we are constantly in a state, in a positive emotional state and not in a negative emotional state. Now, obviously, the question becomes how? We know that it's necessary, and this is the fuel. The fuel of the godly soul is positive emotions, but how do we do that? And that's what we're going to be talking about over the next few chapters of Tanya. First, we're going to be talking about how to get rid of negative emotions, and then we're going to move on to talking about positive emotions, because we can't talk about positive emotions until we're rid of the negative emotions. By way of example, imagine if you're, um, you're driving your car, and you're pushing the gas, and you're pushing, and you're pushing, and you're pushing, and you're trying to move forward, but at the back of your car, there's an 18-wheeler that's hooked up, and the 18-wheeler is moving in the reverse, in the opposite direction, you're not going to make too much progress. The same thing also, we might be trying to attain positive emotions, but if we're weighed down by negative emotions, we're not going to be able to do that. So the next few chapters, we're going to examine a variety of negative emotions and figure out how to reduce them and even to eliminate them and this way to give the energy to the godly soul to be able to win the battle against the animal soul.